Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm the owner of seasonandserveblog.com. In today's video, we are making baked lingcod with chimichurri sauce. Chimichurri is an Argentinian herb sauce that is typically served with grilled meats, but since it has such nice fresh flavor, it is also great with seafood as well. This recipe is very healthy, but it is full of flavor and can be made in under 30 minutes. So if you wanna see how I make my baked lingcod with chimichurri, just keep on watching. We'll begin by making our chimichurri sauce and that starts out with some garlic. I'm using two cloves of garlic here and I think this is the perfect amount for a nice flavorful chimichurri sauce. I'm just roughly chopping up the garlic and then I'm adding it into a mortar and pestle. Next we're gonna add in our fresh herbs and I'm gonna begin by chopping up some fresh Italian parsley. I really like using Italian parsley in this recipe because I think it has a lot better flavor than curly parsley. I'm also adding in half a bunch of cilantro and I'm gonna finely chop this and the parsley together. And while it is a little bit of a pain to chop all of these herbs by hand, I find that the flavor is a lot better when you do it by hand than when you make it in a food processor. I don't know why, I can't explain it, but trust me, it tastes better this way. So if you have time and energy, definitely chop up all your herbs by hand. Next, we're gonna mix our chimichurri sauce together. So into the mortar and pestle where I put the garlic, I'm gonna add some salt. And the salt acts as an abrasive to really turn the garlic into a nice garlic paste. And doing this is really great because you don't wanna bite into a big chunk of raw garlic when you're eating your chimichurri. And once the garlic has been turned into a paste, I'm gonna add in the chopped parsley and cilantro. Next, I'm gonna add in some apple cider vinegar, or you could substitute this for red wine vinegar as well. I'm also gonna add some dried oregano leaves, and then I'm also gonna add some dried crushed red chili flakes. I'm also gonna add a few tablespoons of olive oil to help the chimichurri mix together a little bit easier as well. I'm gonna use my pestle to pulverize all the herbs and mix all the ingredients together. And initially I find it's easiest to use an up and down motion to pulverize and push all the herbs down into the mortar and then use sort of a grinding, rotating motion to mix everything together once the herbs are a little bit beaten up. I also like to add a few tablespoons of olive oil as I mix everything together, just so that at the end we end up with a nice oily chimichurri sauce. And of course, you can find all the full directions and measurements for this recipe on my blog and I'll leave that linked in the description box below. Next we'll prepare our fish, and in this recipe I'm using a wild lingcod filet that I picked up from my favorite seafood place, Finest at Sea. I absolutely love shopping there because they have the highest quality seafood and you know exactly where all of the products come from. So if you're in Victoria, I highly recommend getting your fish at Finest at Sea. Lingcod has a pretty mild flavor and I'm just going to season it with some salt and pepper. And even though you can add a lot more herbs and seasonings to this, I'm going to keep it really simple because I want the chimichurri to really stand out and be fresh and bring out all the delicious natural flavors of the lingcod. Next I'm going to simply transfer the filet to a parchment lined baking sheet and then we're going to bake it in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Typically a filet will take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, but it really depends on the size and thickness of your filet. So check it after about 10 to 12 minutes to see if it's fully cooked. And you'll know the fish is fully cooked when it's nice and opaque and is firm to the touch. And then all you have to do is simply transfer the filet to a serving plate and then spoon over the delicious chimichurri sauce. And then as a final garnish, I like to add a few slices of fresh lemon, and that is it. In under 30 minutes, you have a delicious baked lingcod with chimichurri. And that is it for today's recipe. I hope that you enjoy this healthy and easy baked lingcod with chimichurri sauce this season. For more delicious seasonal recipes, hit that red subscribe button below and also check out my food blog and Instagram for more recipe ideas. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.